Watch you guys got another video here for you. Windows 11 is getting lots of new features coming in the up and coming builds. And I'm going to show you some of them here. And I'll also leave a link in the video description. The first one, which I think is very important to a lot of people, is the taskbar drag and drop. This has finally been fixed by Microsoft and they are releasing an official uh, you know, drag and drop uh, built into their system now. So if we go to WinVer here, we can check the version, which is the dev version I'm using here, OS build 22557.1. This is the build that will be released to you very soon. And once it's been released, you'll be able to get all these awesome features. Now, the way the drag and drop works is basically when you open up your menu, you can't just drag from this location here because you have to go to all apps and then you can drag and drop from there. So basically grab whatever one you want uh, to drag to your taskbar here. And now you can just drag them straight onto there. Very simple and easy to do. This was a real big problem for a lot of people because people used to drag stuff onto their taskbar and Microsoft uh, didn't include it on Windows 11. So they all function perfectly fine. So if you're looking forward to that feature, it's coming up in that build that I talked about a little bit earlier. Next up, I want to talk about the grouping which you're allowed to do now inside the menu. It seems that Microsoft are still working on a lot of features on Windows 11, and this is one of them that people were asking about, which is the grouping feature, which now allows you to group icons into little groups here, just like I'm doing right here. I've just grouped all the social media ones into their own little folder. So when you click on this, it will open up that group just like this one here. So let us go click on this and it open up a nice little group of icons here. And you can just drag them all in there to keep it a little bit more organized and a little bit more tidy. So I do think Windows 11 is still being worked on by Microsoft. If you check out this article here, it tells you exactly all of the updates that they are releasing for this build, which is at the latest build here. Now, they're also doing some other ones, which is do not disturb and focus. This allows you to focus on your work uh, and you can set timers and things like that. So go down here and if you look here, it says do not disturb just underneath my logo here. I'll show you it inside the settings pane in a second, but you can turn this on and off and it will stop notifications coming your way and stop you being disturbed. And also... Uh, this one here, which is your focus, you can set timers here and then you can click on focus. This will open up this window and eventually you'll be in the focus mode. To end the session, you just go back in and click end session. You can also access from your settings mode. So let's go to uh, start and then settings here and then go into settings. And you should see inside here, we're looking for notifications, which is in system and notifications and you will be able to get access to Do Not Disturb, and we'll have notifications here, and you can start your focus sessions here and uh, put your duration and stuff like that. And it's been built to help reduce uh, distractions and things like that. So you can read all about it on the article, or you can download the ISO and install it, or join the Insider program and have a play around with it, just like I'm showing you here. Very simple and easy to do. This is in VMware. So it's safe to use and you can just play around and have a look at all the new features. Another one is this one here. You can click on the Windows key, Control key and L key. And this will be your shortcut keys to open this up. Once you download the language pack here, which is what you're going to do, uh, the speech pack, you'll be able to then capture live audio. So this one is for uh, capturing the live audio on videos and things like that. You can download this or quickly download it here and get it installed. It's pretty amazing to see how far we've come with how uh, your operating system can literally uh, capture audio so accurately. And even doing voice to text, it can do it so accurate now, and it can distinguish many different accents and voices uh, from all over the world. Uh, so you will need to download the speech packing and get this installed, but once it's done, you'll get a little drop down box here. You can detach it and have it on the floating screen here so you can move it to where you want. Once you get it moved in here, there is a little cog on here which you can click on and this will give you access to the settings pane which you can choose caption style 
caption options, which is a uh, filter profanity and other bits and pieces. It can include your uh, audio from your microphone and you can position it where you like. So once you open it up here, you can go to the uh, accessibility captions here. And this is where all of your settings will be as well inside here. So you can leave this on or off and this will be able to capture your voice uh, when you're playing some sort of video and you can put your voice over it as well and it will capture that as well. I'll give you an example right here. I'll download one of my videos here and uh, we'll basically uh, show you how it captures my audio or my voice here. So there you go. It's just I'll just push play on the video and it's now capturing uh, that audio and putting it into text right here. And it's super accurate at picking up every single word that I say here and then copying it into here. So you can see very, very useful. Now, another thing I wanted to cover here is the task manager. We talked about it in a previous video and a few people were saying it doesn't have dark mode available uh, for the task manager. And that's not true. It does have dark mode. You just need to enable it once it's been released fully to the general public. So I'll show you both methods here so you can see it as a white screen here and I'll enable dark mode in a second. I would like to see some sort of sensors added to this for the uh, temperatures for your CPU. I think they do the GPU as well. It does add the GPU in there if it were, had a graphics card in it. This is a, a virtual machine. So I do know it does the temperatures for the GPU, but I would like to see it for the CPU and uh, some other things as well, like the hard drive and things like that. So that would be cool. But it does look pretty good and it's work in progress as you can see here, and it does work in dark mode as well for those people that were saying it doesn't work in dark mode. It does, you just need to enable dark mode and it should work exactly as it should. So pretty awesome. Now we'll leave the list of the link that Microsoft have posted with all of the information about all of the updates that they're gonna be releasing for this particular build. There is so many of them, I'm not gonna go through every single one of them, but I'll give you a quick look here at some of the uh, updates that are coming. There's quite a few. So take a good look at the article and have a good read. Uh, there's probably something there that really interests you. The OneDrive uh, option is pretty good. Touch gestures as well, and uh, a bunch of other ones on there. It's a really massive update. Uh, they've done a lot of work with the snap layouts as well, and a bunch of other things uh, as well for like um, efficiency mode and other bits like that. So check it out. I'll leave the link in the video description. Now, if you like and enjoy this sort of stuff, then check out my YouTube channel. I've got tons of videos on there. There's over 2,500 technology videos about how to build computers, how to remove viruses, how to do all sorts of stuff with computers. So check out my playlist. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and then click on all to be notified when we upload new videos. If you want to support me a little bit further, you can always hit the join button and this is to become a YouTube member, which means I get 70% of the revenue and YouTube uh, take 30%. Uh, but it's just a way of showing your appreciation. You get a few perks in there. So check it out on the join button there if you want to. If you join the second line support team, you can literally have your name rolling up on the screen, just like these awesome people here that have joined my second line support in YouTube members group. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from biotechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again real soon.